Okay, hello YouTube. This is Sonic Trucks 24 here. Um, today I have an uh, interesting video. Right now, um, you're probably wondering why I've been busy lately. Basically, I have been busy working on something. And so let's get on with it. This is a program I've been working on. Now, to show you what I'm talking about, let's first go into my flash drive that has the other program on it. This is basically, um, I was using this program for computer networking and computer forensics. It's called tra Trandumpers. Dot, uh, well, it's just trans Trandumpers. If you look that up online, oh, oops. <clears throat> um, ignore that, I was just burning stuff. Trans, Trans Dumper, you can go to this website, tra um, G-E-J-O-S dot com slash Trans Dumper dot HTML. As soon as it loads, load. Uh, load. Sorry if this is sounding a little amateurish. It's just the internet right now. <clears throat> Here, let me just try it in another tab. Sheesh. I have good internet connection. Something must be taken up. Oh, wait. Maybe it's probably the other computer in the other room. <sighs> I think that's what's taking up my bandwidth. Anyway, you get the point. Um, this program is designed to help you study. Oh, and it will not work in Google Chrome. <clears throat> you have to specifically run it in Internet Explorer. This is what the program looks like. This is a free open source software. And this open source software turns on. This is what the open source software running on a web browser looks like. And so this is what you get right here. Um, although I'm running Internet Explorer 10 so problem is this app is not working. Why is it not working? Well it's because of Internet Explorer 10 having some um, script problems. Um, it's basically, it's not running the trans dumper script, um, that's mainly in VB script. And that really angers me that I can't study. Hey, I can even highlight these things. They're actual icons, but I can't do anything. So, I've been busy lately making my own open source software. Um, it's into an EXE, but it's still an open source software, because I will also provide the project as well if anyone wants it. Um, here we go. This is my app. Based off the same thing. This is my, uh, Tran Dumper. Uh, I put Josh version there, because I basically built it completely completely from the ground up, literally. I built this form completely from the ground up. And I've... Oh. <clears throat> Stupid phone. Sorry about that. 
This video is so unprofessional. Forgive me for making this video unprofessional, but I basically... Oh, and you know what? It also highlights that. It... Why is it not doing it here? Oh, okay. Anyway, don't, don't matter. <clears throat> so, basically it says, Trend Dumper Desktop Version Designed by Joshua Vanderzee and Inspired by Peter Pan dot JT dot Delphi's trans dumper. Basically, this is basically um, so that way I can study on my computer without having to worry about a version of Inter Internet Explorer. Um, basically, because, you know, everyone hates Internet Explorer. Most people do. Although Internet Explorer 10 on Windows 8, the Metro one, I actually like, so... Anyway, enough about talking about Windows 8. Um, so, basically, this is what the interface looks like for your test. You have, um, this one I chose, um, a text file that shows, that also supplies images. It took me a while to actually structure the thing to display the image. Anyway, so it displays your question, it displays, um what number you're on and how many questions there are and then how many you have correct and how many you have incorrect so let's see let's take this test so that's correct and we can get an explanation we can even play some video if the video link is provided right in the text file you notice it has the so and you have an explanation down here if available in the text file I'm just letting you know this program is running um, reading off of text files so it's basically just um, you can make your own questions and this program will compile it into a test form so now we can move on to the next question and I know that shielded twisted bear this is just computer networking stuff uh, let's just say I don't know and I say fiber optic even though I know it's not true it's twisted pair uh, it'll say that it's wrong so basically you you would get it wrong and the program knows that you're trying to change the answer but it will still say you still got it wrong prevents any cheating so <clears throat> so let's see, do that, and now let's test out, oh, hang on, um, you've got that, and we have the back button, which brings you to a previous question that shows you exactly, and that's a little bug there I need to fix, I'll fix that, and then that's the only bug I guess I need to fix and don't worry your version won't have this bug this is so unprofessional <clears throat> anyway this is um so let's see um I don't wanna bore you to death so I guess I'll skip ahead You thought I was going to take the whole test, huh? I took the whole test before, anyway. A little sonic music there. And since I only got five correct, I skipped a bunch. I skipped about 20 questions. And uh, made two wrong and stuff. <clears throat> and that's the total number of questions. And you can tell that the um, Sonic Unleashed um, Rank E music is playing. If you were to pass, then, then you would actually then do a better job, because then, <clears throat> because if you pass, you would actually get the certificate, uh, basically, if you were studying for a computer network. So, basically, and then I would play the regular music, rank S music, from Sonic Unleashed. But, that's not all. You can turn off the sounds, which will disable the custom cu custom theme button. 
because it will keep it the regular theme. And then you will have no sound, no sound. Going through the entire questions again. And I'll just bring you there. Sweet and simple. Now you can turn this back on and we can do some customization. Now, <clears throat> these are the different things. This is, th you can change your background. Let's see, what do we want to change it to? Well, let's just say we want to change it to the Back to the Future. Then let's say we want to change the startup sound. Let's see, we want to change the startup sound. What will we use? I don't know what to use. Um, what is this? We all love to play games. Nope, that's just a random thing. Here we go. Okay, let's just make that. Let's do that. And we hit the save. Okay, then we can close the app and the app will remember it. Startup sound will activate. Huh? Uh, okay, I closed the app. It should have. Uh, I guess it's probably because of a RAR file. Hang on. Maybe it's because it's in a RAR. This is such an unprofessional video. Let's now change to the DeLorean and the sound. Just to let you know, it has to be wave. There we go. See, um, yeah, the program actually has to be, um, outside of the RAR file if you want to do some customization. Because if it's inside the RAR file, it's just going to do this. Yeah, it's going to do this. Yeah, and it's not going to be able to actually customize. <clears throat> so, uh, pretty much it for the app. There's a set to default. set it to default. Let's see. Um, let's change the result music. Let's say if you fail, um, this will play. Save. And so now all we have to do is fail this test. Which is simple. <laughs> see? So you can customize every sound in this program. And so, that's pretty much it of this program. Um, so you can take your test. You can customize. Let's make it this. And then... And then your test can do this. Although... The problem is sometimes um, customizing the background, you may have a ne you should have a better background than this. Basically, dark backgrounds will not do it, do good. I mean that's why um, I would prefer it to be default. Basically, um, if you don't have any images or that are bright images, because you know, dark images do not contrast well with text. De uh, dark text. So that's pretty much it. I hope you liked this video. Comment, rate, and subscribe.